My name is Brian Palmer. I am a painting and remodeling contractor. Um, I was started out as a carpenter out of high school and with the housing downturn in the 80s I went to work for a larger painting contractor as um, his repairman basically preparing stuff for the larger jobs and changing doors, changing shutters, repairing stuff and just learn the paint trade from him. Um, I officially incorporated in January of 1994 and I was about to be married or was married and was getting ready to start a family and knew it was time to go out on my own to make it a career and not just a job. The, uh, I was doing real well with where I was at, but to go forward I needed to start my own business. It's very tough at times because the, lineup, the type of work I do is contractual, so there's no guarantee there ever is going to be work there. But I've been very lucky over the years that I've had very few slow times, um, even with the economy changing, basically flipping two times since I've been in business. And it's very rewarding from the standpoint of getting to see what you've just done right then and there from start to finish and seeing what it does for your customers. And a lot of my customers are more than just clients. They've become friends over the years. I do an awful lot. Probably 75% of my business is repeat business. Remodeling work from um, installing kitchens, bathrooms, um, repair jobs like almost handyman type company jobs and which is breaks the monotony of just straight up painting nowadays when I started out I was probably 95 percent painting now at max it's 50 percent painting it's probably even tilted more to the remodeling side these days not very much at all back in the 90s, more than the 90s and the early 2000s, there was a lot of the artistic painting was mixing in with the general house painting and construction. And there was a lot of faux finishers and artistic painters out there. And there happened to be one, another Palmer painting down in Washington, D.C. that did a lot of it. It's kind of both ways. I mean, it used to be earlier in my career that people thought of the painters as a bunch of hardcore, you know, rough and tumble guys that were all drinkers. And um, I mean, it used to, I used to have clients that were surprised when they would offer the guys a beer after work and nobody in my crew drank, drank alcohol. All trades are getting pushed forward, are moving upwards, because there is so much work to be done. There's so much more housing. I mean, every, every year the housing goes up means there's more work needs to be done. I almost think that they don't push trade schools enough on the younger people. Kids get out of high school now and think they have to go to college. And in the long run, an awful lot of them would do better off going to trade school and getting a job right away. The normal for a painter, I have shoulder problems, um, arthritis in my hands just from constant use, usage of it in my hands and knees. It's hard to say, I mean it's been a rewarding career from the standpoint of being able to raise a family and kept a good job but now that I'm getting near looking at retirement retirement in as a company owner is all about what you put in you're not getting anything from anybody and 
from that aspect of it, sure, I wish I worked for some major corporation that I was, you know, going to have a, a nice long-term pension ahead of me, but that's not going to happen. So if I would do it again or not, I think I would still be in the remodeling end, but I think I would have switched more to just straight remodeling years ago.